Now, Malaysia hopes the ASEAN Digital Economy Framework Agreement can be concluded during its chairmanship next year. Investment, Trade and Industry Minister Tanku Dato Sri Ras Zafrul Abdul Aziz said the plan aims to create a more competitive, inclusive and profitable region while accelerating ASEAN's transformation into a leading digital economy. ASEAN and then the DEFA, which is the Digital Economic Framework Agreement. I think this one you need to tap on, uh, for those of you who are aware, because when we talk about ASEAN and manufacturing and the trade, digital trade now is also going to play a key role uh, in increasing trade within ASEAN. And if you look at digital economy, the ASEAN digital economy is expected to go up three times by the year 2030, one trillion US dollars. So with the Digital Economic Framework Agreement, the DEFA, the value can easily double. In fact, it's projected to double to 2 trillion US dollars. So youth such as yourself can leverage the Digital Economic Framework Agreement, DEFA, to foster greater digital cooperation and pave the way for regional digital integration and inclusive growth in development. In his welcoming address at the ASEAN Manufacturing Youth Conference 2024 in Kuala Lumpur on Tuesday, Tunku Zafrul said the move will facilitate regional digital integration and inclusive growth and development and will support Malaysia's chairmanship next year. He also said MITI is spearheading works related to the ASEAN Economic Pillar, guided by the overarching objectives of the ASEAN Economic Community Council. Malaysia sees the chairmanship as a chance to align ASEAN's direction with its own economic policies and help implement them regionally. He added that the government is developing its priority economic deliverables for its ASEAN chairmanship, which is expected to benefit people and businesses, particularly small and medium enterprises and the manufacturing sector.